Hi guys, CCM Productions 97 here and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars 2014 Winter Set Review and today we have the LEGO Star Wars 75045 Republic AV7 Anti-Vehicle Cannon and yeah that's a long name I know and the set is from the age 8 to 14 it contains 434 pieces and Again, I don't know the price in US dollars, only in euros. The price in euros will be 50 euros. And as soon as I and as soon as I know the price in US dollars, I will update the description down below. And so yeah, let's start with the review. So we're getting four minifigures and one really huge vehicle. And with the minifigures, we will start right now. So on the left side there's a droidy car, it's the same one like of the 7500 Clone Trooper versus droidy car battle pack, it's really similar, easy, it's a really easy um, droid I don't like the design that much. And yeah, this part and the arms are not that good, I like the droidy car of the MTT most but that's a nice story card but not really cool and then to the clone troopers and these clone troopers are really amazing we are getting two wolf pack troopers clone troopers and they are so cool and amazing so we have the um, standard clone wars clone trooper leg design we are not having the new leg design, we are having the old design and the coloring looks really good, it's kind of grey blue color uh, if you know the coloring please let me know in the comments and we have the the standard Clone Wars Clone Trooper design, we have nice coloring, we have colored arms nice bag and this is the Hound of the 501st Trooper of the ATRT, it's the same one. And we have other printing, we have this kind of wolf head on the top of the helm, nice printing, we have nice varicet design, looks really good and really great. And we are getting the old Plorster, not the new ones with the um, fire thingy right there. Um, it looks much better than the new one and really nice minifigure and this time we have still the old Clone Wars Clone Trooper face if you remember of the battle pack of 2009 of it was or 2008 I'm not sure and it looks good on this minifigure I really like it how this minifigure comes out absolutely well designed great job on this minifigure so we're getting two of them and the last minifigure we are getting in the set is a new design blue coon. So we are getting this blue lightsaber and the standard one. We have no lag printing on this minifigure. And torso printing is new, I think. That's the only new point on there. We have a nice belt right there. We have the you can see it we have nice printing we have also have back printing hope you can see it and so we have still this um, hat piece right there looks really nice and but it's still the same like of the Republic gunship of 2008 looks really nice I think this may feel comes out great really useful and yeah let's put the minifigures away and show you the vehicle and when I built this vehicle I was just like wow that's huge and this vehicle is really huge it look it has a good size I think nearly and nearly the same size like the original not the same size like the original one but it's good it's a good Lego size for Star Wars you can use it really well in marks and so on and yeah so let's show you the Canon AV7 Canon in detail. So we have nice 
extendable legs you can move them right like this and then this piece right there up and down so that you can turn the position of the legs and so on you can move the legs and so and then there's much detail on the legs all around on the cannon i really like this huge cannon thingy right there it looks really good and the new thing by this cannon is the new spring loaded weapon this is this piece right there this light green piece and I'll show you it to you now. Um, you must push right there and it will shot. I'll show you it to you now. Let it work. I yeah it should it should shot this piece out. I don't know why it didn't work. Yeah now it works. So we have one of them and we are getting an extra. So we have in total two of them. It's a nice feature of the set. And here. So it's pretty big. And now to the cannon. Right there, this cannon piece. It's a lot of detail. I really like this new pieces right there. I think they are new. This ones. They look really great. We have right there a flick fire missile. We have one. I know everybody knows how a flick fire missile works. You must push it and then flies. We are getting a few extra flick fire missiles on the rest this side, two more on this side and two more on this side. We we'll also have on the right side a nice cockpit like this. We have a nice computer display. This is not a sticker that is printed. And we have a lot of detail in this cannon. It looks really great I think. And a cool feature is if you turn this wheel right there in the back, you can put the cannon up and down. And so you can change the position of the cannon if something is in the air, you can fire or if something is front of the can cannon, you can fire it down and so on. It's, really, it's really cool for example if the droid car is right there and he wants to attack the cannon, the clone trooper puts the cannon down and boom, shots the droid. And that's kind of cool feature in the set, it looks really great and the cannon is really well designed. And looks really great but it's a little bit huge I think so let's put the cannon away and show you the instruction of this set so it's the instruction you can see the set in front um, that shows how to unbox the set or to sort the pieces and so on we are getting again three bags with pieces um, so how to build the set and so on and in the back in the back of the and there's this piece list like always we have uh, yeah, we have lego side and we have a list of all the 2014 winter sets nearly all there is still missing the republic um, gunship or something like that, and a Carice Polis gunship, I think it is, and to draw a tree fighter. And I already reviewed the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack, Utapau Battle Pack, the Spark Speeder Finky, and the General Grievous Wheel Bike. Uh, so be sure to check out the reviews, all of them. And uh, yeah, that was the instruction. Then to the box, it's kind of huge box. Yeah. You can see we have the new um, design on there, we have the Darth Vader design, the new Star Wars coloring design, we have the um, Blue Coon minifigure and the Wolfpack clone troopers, they are new and exclusive to set this set. Uh, we have right the awesome minifigures, we have the set in action, what you can do, like the legs, and the spring loaded, loaded shot shooter. And yeah, so on, really nice set. Final looks great. And great box arting, I think. Looks good. I think there's Christophsis in the back of the set. Looks really nice. And now, like always in my reviews, I want to give you a feedback about the set. So, let's put the cannon back to the review station. The minifigures back. 
So, out of the fact that I don't know the US dollar price, I can't say anything about the sample fees price. But um, 50 euros for 434 pieces is okay, I think. And um, you're getting a huge, really huge cannon, really useful for mocks. I was waiting for this cannon since I think two or three years since the Clone Wars movie was out. I was waiting and thinking when Lego will do this set and so. And I was so excited when I heard this cannon will be out in this year. And so I got the set and I think many of you guys were waiting for this set. And this is really great. Definitely good work on the cannon with the detail, the complete detail. I think it's absolutely worth to buy the set for the cannon. And then we are getting four nice minifigures. The Jordica is not the best minifigure. But it's a nice thing that it is included in the set. The cool minifigures are these three ones. Especially this Wolfpack Trooper. This is so cool that we are getting a session for Wolfpack Trooper. I know the Wolfpack group of the Republic Frigate. This was the normal Clone Wars style, and this is now Phase 2 style. It looks really good. I really like the printing on the helm. This Wolfpack design looks really great, and the new blue cone is also really useful. And I think if you have the money and you want want to get a huge cannon or a cool minifigure, you should go on and buy this set. It looks really cool. And <clears throat> yeah, there was the feedback about the set. I think it look is a good set. And thanks for watching, guys. This review, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really sorry that it's a little bit long, but this set is so cool that I must talk so much about the set. And so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This video, please give it a like or post a comment in the comment section. Please let me know in the comments what color this is. I'm not sure it's a kind of dark. Um, blue, maybe grey color, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching guys this review, see you in the next one and I say bye